Okay, we're starting episode 37. This is our journey to the base, which was turned into an extremely uh, difficult task because I have to have protection. With full health, some food, enough resources to get me there, and my wits and determination. We are going to make it. And we're going to do it mob free, at least until nightfall. It's midday right now. And I should be able to make it to the main continent by nightfall. And that kid almost drowned. That was fun. Hey. But I'm glad that at least the the video. Whoa! I just heard it. You heard it too. What was it? Zombie. In the daytime? <laughs> That's weird. Unless there's a dungeon spawner down there, but I doubt it. Because like I said, I explored all of this before dungeons existed. So, I'll definitely make it in this episode, but I don't know if I'll get to do too much with the watchtower. Because after I get there and take it in a little bit, my victory, I've got to go back down into the cave I was using. And I need two, two buckets of lava to make this thing work. And you'll see what it is when I get there, but it's basically a system where you stand in this, this glassed-in area and you, look, you watch. Like if you think there's a threat coming in a multiplayer situation, it controls the west front of my area. Because there's two big valleys that converge into one, where there will be a wall, of course, that does go into the ground. And way up high on the mountain where I kept falling from, there's a there's there's a tower, and it's got a trigger inside. It's a basic sand trap trigger. It's not doesn't use switches, but I will make use of those later. But the switches <coughs> are the one switch. It's just a torch that you hit that drops sand down and releases uh, lava over the top of the thing so that it's very visible even from a distance. And if you see that lava, because it will be concealed until the switch is hit, if you see that lava, it means that danger is coming. There are people coming our way that are trying to attack us. I'm also trying to make it so that it's really easy to reset. Because I think that's important too, that it's it's not you know, painfully difficult to to put back together after all said and done. You just Just pick the lava back up, and what time of day is it? Okay, we're almost there. We are approaching the main continent, and you will see some mountains forming in the distance. In a moment. That's what we want. Because the mountain that I'm going to approach is actually to the north of the base. Because I'm traveling east right now, north is that way. And the north mountain. Not all that exciting, but it's it's a natural landmark that indicates that once I get around to the other side of that, on the east side of the mountain, I have to travel south, and I come right up on on the base and the big awesome area. And everybody's happy. So we're approaching the main continent now. Just have to get over this little lagoon here. And we'll be able to explore. However, as said before, that's going to happen during the nighttime hours because it's about to be nighttime. It should start getting dark any minute now. Yep, that sun's on the horizon. So now I've got to make it through. Whoops. I'm going to put the fog back down so this isn't as choppy. Okay, sorry about that. Minecraft crashed on me. But the interesting thing is that it saved right away. I got an error report that I haven't looked at yet. But that was the first time that the game has ever crashed on me uh, where it just disappears. So, yeah, whatever. The Fraps also shut off too because Fraps is dependent on the program you're running as long as it's OpenGL. Um, to do that, so 
Yeah. There's the map I was talking about. Fuck you, dude. Do you see? There it is. About it! <laughs> I knew we'd make it in time. So yeah, this is the, the North Mountain Pass. And... Just gotta get over there. Lighting my way along the way. When I get around that mountain, this part of it, I will be in the vicinity of the base. Which has several torches around. It's it's pretty well lit for right now for the time being. There we are. And uh, hopefully this looks a little better now too with, with the use of traps that you can kind of see what's happening. Ooh, yep, see there's torchlight. Oh wait. I hear zombie. Here he is. He's not taking me out. I've come this far. I don't think so. Yeah. So that was that wasn't the wrong way, but that was uh uh too I turned too soon. Basically, what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hear a spider. You heard it too. That means we run away. Where's my torches? Yeah, see, I've been here. Fight the pig. Don't, don't fight me. Where's the sheep? She wants to be attacked. So yeah, this is why I left this torch tray. So I can see where the heck I'm going. I have to drop down here. Hopefully I don't get ambushed by one of those creepers. It's like they're invisible, man. Some of those creepers, they just creep up on you. <laughs> but all you hear is the sizzle. You don't even have time to turn around and boom. Got a little lag there. That's okay. <clears throat> it's interesting, too, that I'm coming back to this, this part of the the world I was in, in the exact same uh, episode, because this is episode 37, so if it was the first season, it would have been um, episode 7. And that's kind of funny, because episode 7, in the second season, was the same one that I started to explore the new base. <laughs> So that's pretty interesting. I could have done it right away, but like I said, I needed to, to defend myself. That zombie cornered me, man. If I hadn't had my sword, he could have killed me. Especially without any armor, I'd be in a lot worse shape than I am now. But I survived his attack. And we're going to make it. And it's possible that, that it did load new resources, because there's lag going on, which means it loads something. It could just be the, the incredible amount of mobs. Okay. Here's a torch light in the distance. That is where I need to go. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, because this is one of the epic caves that I explored. Yep, that's a cave from the first season. So we go this way. Any minute now, which I only have one of, we should be approaching the base. Kind of the lag is kind of kind of irritating me now. Oh, out of torches! So let's make some more. Noticing too that there aren't any monsters out right now. There were before. But it seems like I'm in the no mob zone, which happened at the end of this end of the second season too. So I wonder if this is some kind of like area that's got an invisible guard against that sort of thing. Can't see. Oh gosh, freaking lags! Made a piss out of me. All right, here we are. We made it. Yes. <laughs> where I am, and I'll continue this in episode 38. Check you then.